Unit 5, Civic Awareness. Learning achievements of this unit is to give introduction of the three organs of the state, to tell the concept of power balance and to give brief introduction of the constitutional bodies, to explain the role and responsibility of political parties in the govern governance system of Nepal to mention the election process and roles to be played by the citizen in it, to be familiar with the human rights and act accordingly and mention the roles of national and international agencies in it, and to tell the process of acquiring citizenship certificate. Subject matters, legislature, executive, judiciary, constitutional bodies, other constitutional commissions, political parties, election process, roles of citizens in the election, human rights and national and international agencies, rights of women and indigenous nationalities, citizen identity and citizenship. Unit 3, Lesson 1 Page number 60, Our National Heritages Introduction Important and valuable objects, places, arts, culture, and natural environment that have been passed on from the previous generation are being maintained in the present and will be presented to future generations are called heritages. These are our valuable assets. They introduce our country among others. Our heritages are our identity and pride as well. Classification of our national heritages. Our national heritages are classified into three categories, religious heritages, cultural heritages, and natural heritages. Religious heritages, the religious places and the objects related with religious values and norms are known as religious heritages. Temples, Mosque, Gumba, Church, Gurudwara, Idols, etc. are religious heritages. Spelling of Mosque, M-O-S-Q-U-E. Cultural heritages. The heritages related to our culture, customs, practices, places, objects, artistic expressions and values are known as cultural heritages. Cultural heritage includes tangible and intangible heritages, buildings, monuments, landscapes, books, works of art, and artifacts are tangible heritages, whereas folklore, traditions, language, and knowledge are intangible heritage. Natural heritages. The elements related to biodiversity, geological structures, and formulae formations that have artistic, historical, scientific, and social significance and other special values are known as natural heritages. Importance of our natural heritages. They give an identity to the country. They are the valuable and outstanding religious, cultural, and natural assets of the country. They help in the promotion of tourism industries as they are the major attraction for the tourist. They add glory to the country. They are the sources for religious, cultural or natural study, research or observation. Nepal is rich in cultural and natural heritages. Some of them have been listed in World Heritage Sites by UNESCO. Any important site of natural heritage or cultural heritage can be listed in World Heritage Site by the World Heritage Committee of UNESCO. To be included in the World Heritage List, sites must be of outstanding universal value and meet at least one out of ten selection criteria. Following are the national heritages of Nepal that are listed in the World Heritage Site. A. Natural Heritages Sagarmatha National Park, listed in 1979 AD, and it meets criteria number 3, 4, and 6. Chitwan National Park, listed in 1984 AD, and it meets the criteria number 8, 9, and 10. 
B. Cultural Heritages Lumbini, the birthplace of Lord Buddha Listed in 1997 AD and it meets the criteria number 3 and 4 Kathmandu Valley Listed in 1979 AD and it meets the criteria number 3, 4 and 6 here we will discuss about our na national heritages listed in the World Heritage Sites. 1. Sagarmatha National Park Sagarmatha National Park was established in 19th July 1976 AD. It is located in Solukhumbu district of province number 1. It was enlisted in the World Heritage Sites in 1979 AD. Sagarmatha National Park covers 1,148 square kilometer area. The highest peak of the world, Sagarmatha, is located here. Besides Lhotse, Choyu, Nupse, Pumori, Amadablam, etc. are other major peaks located in this national park. Spellings of Lhotse, L-H-O-T-S-E, Choyu, C-H-O-Y-U, Nupse, N-U-P-T-S-E, Pumari, P-U-M-O-R-I, Amadablam, M-A-M-A, I will repeat, Amadablam, A-M-A-D-A-B-L-A-M. The major vegetation found in this park is rhododendron, which is lali grass. Spelling of rhododendron is R H O. D O D E N D R O N. Pine is dhupi, bhospatra, etc. The birds and animals like wild yak, musk deer, red panda, snow leopard, polar cheetah, etc. are found here. Chitwan National Park. It is one of the most important tourist destinations of Nepal. It is located in Chitwan district and 120 km southwest of Kathmandu. It covers an area of 932 square kilometers. It is specially famous for one horned rhino, which is rarely found in the world. Royal Bengal tiger is another important wildlife found in this national park. Besides this, elephants, crocodiles, tigers, peacocks, etc. are other important wildlife and varieties of birds found here. It was enlisted in the World Heritage Sites in 1984 AD. Number 3. Lumbini, the birthplace of the Lord Buddha. Lumbini is a peerless landmark of Buddhist world. It is the birthplace of Gautam Buddha. It is known as pilgrimage of all the people of the world who follow Buddhism. UNESCO enlisted Lumbini as the World Heritage Site in 1997 AD. The Ashoka Pillar, which was made by Emperor Ashoka in 245 BC, is located here. There are also the Pushkarini Pond, P-U-S-K-A-R-I-N-E, Pushkarini Pond, and Maya Devi Temple. In 1970 AD, 13 nations including Nepal have formed the Lumbini Development Committee and it started the Lumbini Development Master Plan. Under this plan, various countries of the world have constructed monasteries, stupas, etc. in Lumbini. The countries like China, Myanmar, Japan, Vietnam, South Korea, India, Thailand, France, Germany, etc. have constructed many monasteries and stupas. Libraries, museums, research center, etc. are also located here. 4. Kathmandu Valley Kathmandu Valley was listed in the World Heritage Site in 1979 AD. It comprises seven important monuments. A short introduction of those monuments is presented below. A. Pashupati area. It is a holy place of the Hindus. The Pashupati area includes the temple of Pashupati, Devpatan, Jayabhageswari, Gauri Ghat, Kutumbahal, Gaushala, Pingan Nath, and Slesh Mantak forests. There are about 492 temples, Chaityas, Satals, etc. Temples are constructed in various styles. 
there are about 1,000 Shiva Lingas in the Pashupati area. The PADT, Pashupati Area Development Trust, has been established to preserve and promote this area. B. Hanuman Dhoka Darbar Square. It is located in the heart of Kathmandu city. The Malla kings ruled over Kathmandu from this palace. After the conquest of the Kathmandu Valley, King Prithvi Narayan Shah started to rule from here, and it became the capital of unified Nepal. It is said that Pratap Malla erected the statue of Hanuman in this palace, and it was named Hanuman Dhoka. Besides Hanuman Dhoka, Basantapur Palace, Talezu Temple, Museum, House of Kumari, Kasta Mandap, a kettle drum, etc. are the ancient heritages located here. The great earthquake of 2072 caused damage in ma many heritages of this area. C. Baudhanath Mahachaitya Baudhanath Mahachaitya, the biggest stupa in Nepal, lies about 7 km east of the capital. It is one of the oldest stupa in the country. It is believed that the stupa was constructed in around 5th century. It is very famous for religious and cultural tourism. There are many other Buddhist monasteries in this area. D. Patan Darwar Square It was the palace of Malla kings during medieval Nepal. It is located in Lalitpur district. Krishna temple with 21 golden pinnacles, Gajur, spelling of pinnacles, P-I-N-N-A-C-L-E-S, Gajur, is the masterpiece of Malla art and architecture. Besides this, there are Vimshin, Bhimsin Temple, Vishwanath Temple, Jagat Narayan Temple, Statue of Yog Narendra Malla, Mahabodha, Kumbheshwar Mahadev, Temple of Rato Machindranath, etc. The Great Earthquake of 2072 caused damage in many heritages of this area. E. Bhaktapur Darwa Square It was the palace of Malla kings. It is located in Bhaktapur district. Famous heritages like 55 Window Palace, Nyatapol Temple, a statue of King Bhupatindra Malla, Museum, Art Gallery, Golden Gate various bells, Datatreya temples, etc. are the mind-blowing artistic features found here. F. Changu Narayan Temple. It is the oldest temple in the Kathmandu Valley. It is located in Bhaktapur district. It was built during the time of Lithabi King Mandev in 5th century. The temple is built in pagoda style. There are several high-class models of stone encryptions, stones, wood, and metallic arts. It is one of the four Narayan believed in the believed of Kathmandu Valley. I will repeat, it is one of the four Narayan believed of Kathmandu Valley. G. Soyambunat Stupa the stupa of Soimbunath, situated on the top of the hill in Kathmandu, is one of the most popular holy places and instantly recognizable symbol of Nepal. This temple is regarded as the symbol of religious tolerance as there is the temple of Hindu goddess Saraswati. There are other stupas and idols also. Recently, the big statue of Buddha has been constructed near Soimbunath stupa. Besides these, there are many heritages deserving to be listed, enlisted in the World Heritage Sites. There should be the interest and concern from all of us for the identification, protection and promotion of such heritages. Following are the heritages deserving to be enlisted in the World Heritage Sites. Muktinath, Lo Manthang of Mustang, Bordia National Park, Swargadwari of Pyuthan, Kosai Kunda of Rasua, Pathivara Temple of Taplejung, Ram Janaki Temple of Janakpur, Gorkha Palace, Bindya Basini and Tal Barai of Pokhara, Ram Gram of Nawalparasi, Tilaura Court of Kapilbastu, Kokana Village of Lalitpur, Bajra Yogani Temple and Village of Sakhu, Medieval Settlement of Kirtipur, Nuakot Palace, Sinja Valley of Jumla, Bhurti Temple of Dailek, Resunga Area of Gulmi, Tansen, Panauti, etc. 
the national heritages of Nepal, which was which are enlisted in the World Heritage Sites by UNESCO, are not only the property of Nepal, they are also the property of the whole world. So it is the duty of government, local bodies, as well as common citizen to preserve them. But the conditions of world's heritage sites are declining day by day. Due to the bad condition, UNESCO has warned to exclude some heritages of Nepal from the list of the world heritage sites. The following measures should be taken to preserve them. Effective strategies should be made and implemented to make the heritage site pollution free. Old, damaged and destroyed heritages should be renovated, repaired and reconstructed in their own original style. Publicity of the heritage sites should be done through various means of mass communication and government and private sector should involve in the protection and preservation of them. The local people should be made aware about the importance of such heritages and encouraged to protect and promote the heritages. There should be strict security system in the heritage area so that the smuggling of valuable items can be prevented. Selection criteria 1 to 6 for cultural criteria and 7 to 10 is for natural criteria. Number 1. To represent a masterpiece of human creative genius. Number 2. To exhibit an important interchange of human values over a span of time and within a cultural area of the world. On developments in architecture or technology, monumental arts, town planning or landscape design. 3. To bear a unique or at least exceptional testimony to a cultural tradition or to a civilization which is living or which has disappeared. Number 4. To be an outstanding example of a type of building, architectural or technological ensemble or landscape which illustrates a significant stages in human history. Number 5. To be an outstanding example of a traditional human settlement, land use or sea use which is representative of a culture or cultures or human interaction with the environment especially when it has become vulnerable under the impact of irreversible change. Number six, to be directly or tangibly associated with events or living traditions, with ideas or with beliefs, with artistic and lit literary works of outstanding universal significance. The committee considers that this criteria should preferably, preferably, pardon me, the committee considers that this criteria should preferably be used in conjunction with other criteria. Number seven, to contain superlative natural phenomena or areas of exceptional natural beauty and aesthetic importance. Spelling of aesthetic is A-E-S-T-H-E-T-I-C. Number 8. To be outstanding examples representing major stages of Earth's history, including the record of life, significant ongoing geological processes in the development of landforms, or significant geomorphic or physiographic features. Number 9. To be outstanding examples representing significant ongoing ecological and biological processes in the evolution or and development of terrestrial, freshwater, coastal and marine ecosystems and com communities of plants and animals. Number 10. To contain the most important and significant natural habitats for in situ conservation of biological diversity including those containing threatened species of outstanding universal value from the point of view of science and conservation. Nepalese properties submitted on the tentative list of World Heritage Sites. A tentative list is an inventory of those properties which each state party intends to consider for nomination. Number 1. The Early Medieval Architectural Complex of Manoti, 1996. 2. The Laura Court, the archaeological remains of ancient Sakya Kingdom, 1996. 3. Cave architecture of Muktinath Valley of Mustang, 1996. 
for the medieval palace complex of Gorkha, 1996. 5. Ramagrama, the relic stupa of Lord Buddha, 1996. 6. Kokana, the vernacular village and its mustard oil seed in industrial heritage, 1996. 7. Medieval earthen wall city of Lo Manthang, 2008. 8. Vajra Yogini and Early Settlement of Saku, 2008. 9. Medieval Settlement of Kirtipur, 2008. 10. Rishikesh Complex of Ruru Chetra, 2008. 11. Nuakot Palace Complex, 2008. 12. Ram Janaki Temple, 2008. 3. 13. The Medieval Town of Tansen, 2008. 14. Sinja Valley, 2008, 15, Bhurti Temple Complex of Dailik, 2008. Activities, page number 66. 1. Collect the pictures of the heritages of Nepal enlisted in the World Heritage List. Mention one importance of each and present in the class. 2. Collect the news article published in any newspaper about the heritages of Nepal enlisted in the World Heritage List and paste on the notice board of your school. 3. Discuss in groups and write the measures for the protection and promotion of the heritages from their declining condition. Exercise. Very short answer questions. 1. What is heritage? What does it reflect? 2. What are the natural and cultural heritages of Nepal listed in the World Heritage Sites? 3. Why are different countries constructing Bihars in Lumbini area? Present your logics. Short answer questions. 1. Why are the heritages considered as the precious wealth of the nation? Write in four points. 2. Make a list of the roles to be played by the student and community in the protection of nat national heritages. 3. Mention the features of Bhaktapur Darwaz Square. 4. Prepare an article on any heritage of Nepal enlisted in the World Heritage List which you have list visited or heard or read. 5. Write a letter to the representative of UNESCO to enlist a heritage of your community in the World Heritage List and also mention the reason for it. Community work. Visit a place in your community where there is a cultural, religious or historical heritage and prepare a report based on the following titles. Name and place of the heritage. The object located in the heritage area. Date of construction. Condition of heritage, importance of heritage, measures to preserve. End of Unit 3, Lesson 1. This podcast is dedicated to visually impaired students. So if you know anybody who needs this book um, to listen and learn, please share the link and also please subscribe the channel. Thank you and all the best.